Hello and welcome back to Fire Emblem Engage. It has been a while since the last episode, so let me catch you up on what's been going on. Immediately following the last episode that went out on the channel, I created a list. And this list was, one, every single ability that we would use in the final boss of the Fel Xenolog in order, in order to defeat it. It's all mathed out correctly, we've got everything worked out, it will defeat the final boss. However, there were a few downsides to this. The major downside is that I needed a lot more SP than I currently had. In fact, I needed about 11,000 more in the main character and a bunch more in a bunch of side characters, just to get the abilities that we needed in order to do this properly. Now, the side characters were fairly easy. Actually, a lot of them we hadn't really used or we had used another character that could fill the same role as I had initially worked out. So that was fine. The main character needing 11,000 SP, on the other hand, that was a little bit difficult. Mainly because uh, you don't get a lot of SP per combat. Uh, you get between 300 and maybe 1,000 if you're lucky on the well behind us, but generally I was seeing drops of around 300 to 500 per mission, which is fairly slow given the missions are still unmaddening. Um, I did actually work out ways to do the skirmishes quicker, which were kind of interesting. I worked out that actually it wasn't worth trying to get XP in, uh, or SP sorry, in the skirmishes whatsoever. It was much more worth your time to do the smallest skirmish possible that took the least amount of time possible because the well is just by far the best SP farming method. Once I worked that out, it sped things up a lot, but anyway. Um, so, we needed 11,000 SP. And I got to the point uh, about a week ago where I was like, ah, oh, perfect. I have all the items we need. Let's uh, get our SP up to 11,000 and then we'll be ready for this episode to go out and everything will be great. Well, did you know there was an SP cap in this game? I did not. I had no idea. So the main character is currently capped on SP at 9999, uh, which is not really ideal. So, this is why we have this episode and not the final episode of the Fel Xenolog series, because we need to spend a ton of SP and we need to get a load of Bond things to get new um, characters leveled up. And we also have a few supports to do, just like one or two supports to do, um, because a few of them have built up over time. You might be like, that's not too many supports. And then you remember that, well, that was a bad example, that some of the characters have supports with everyone. <laughs> and it's not just them. There are quite a few characters who have supports with quite a few people, and we kind of want to do those because, you know, the work's been done. We should see them. So, let's get started on what we actually need to do the final Fel Xenolog mission. And for that, we are heading over here, we are heading in here, and we are heading all the way around here, and all the way in here, and then in this way, and then into the arena. There is another reason for doing this episode, by the way. Uh, I also had to buy a new capture card as part of the process in, in these last couple of months because my previous one, um, well, it made the game look a little bit deep fried when I tried to use it again, which um, is not really my preferred uh, filter on a game. So, yes, um, we are now on a new one. So this is kind of a test episode to make sure that everything is actually working correctly. Which I really hope it is, because otherwise you're not hearing my voice, because I've had to reload and redo all of this. So, yeah. Anyway. Right. Uh, let's do Training Sigil, and then I'm going to very, very carefully level things up, and I'll make sure that I've got my notes correct here. So, let's first of all do a save. Just a little hard save here. Uh, is this one fine? Yeah, this one's fine. Just to make sure that we have somewhere to go back to if I truly mess it up. Right, so first things first, we're going emblem, we're going us, and we need to get a couple of different ones on the main character. The first one is we need to get Reprisal Plus, which is a Veronica ability. So I think it's a Veronica ability, let me double check that one here. So Reprisal is the first level, Reprisal Plus is the level 18 version of it. This is very, very important to the strategy. 
because basically your strategy is to get hurt so that you end up at 1 HP. And then, when you're at 1 HP, you then use this, or actually more correctly you want to be like at 2 HP, there's reasons for it. Um, you then have this activate, which then adds 50% of your lost HP to your attack, which is obviously insane, because then you end up with a really, really, really high attack stat, which you shouldn't be able to get in the game. So, Reprisal Plus is the key to making a lot of this work. In fact, there are a couple of different methods to achieve what we want to achieve with this, but Reprisal Plus is by far the easiest. Oh, sorry, Reprisal Plus is used in all of them, and the method that we're using seems by far the easiest. So, let's start leveling this. Up to level five. Let's go. I'll be your opponent. I am Veronica, Princess of Embla. Okay. Looks like Veronica's about to lose the fight. Somehow I won. I think it was guaranteed for you to win, Look at the numbers, but anyway. I've never seen a power like yours. The ability to manifest emblems. I want to make it mine. I'm honored, but I'm afraid that power can't be yours. If you need it, though, I'm happy to help. Okay. And that gets her bond to level 5. None of this is important, what we're getting here. Well, I guess skill inheritance is technically important. But there we go. Right. Now we go to level 10. Let's have a good match. I am Veronica. I welcome you. Oh no, reprisal! No, we still win. <laughs> Somehow I won. Yeah, because she can't kill us in one hit, we're fine. Okay, not that it matters. Even though you are covered in wounds, you continue to fight. Why? Who is compelling you? No one is compelling me. I fight because I want to protect the world that I love. Okay. So the reason why she's asking all these questions is obviously she's the main antagonist in Heroes, which is the mobile game, which is summoning lots of things from all over the place. So it's kind of a similar uh, concept, I guess, to this game. Not one-to-one, -one, but it's kind of similar. I'm also really hoping we have enough bond fragments. No holding doing. back. I think I calculated it I'm before, Veronica. and we needed 13,000 in total, you. but we'll see. We might have needed more. Might have been 13,000 for one character. We'll see them. I'm how I won. We won. Fantastic. That's us at level 15. Gets us a bunch of things. And now, uh, we could just push yourself to level 20 anyway. Yeah, let's push ourselves to level 20, even though we might not need it. Hmm. Now I'm starting to be like, but what if that causes me SP issues? You know what? We'll come, we'll, we'll circle back around to this if we, um, yeah, we'll circle back around to this if we've got spare, um, on fragments to do. Right. I'll be your opponent. I am Veronica, Princess of Embla. There we go. How I won. So we defeated Veronica for the third time, fourth time, and we have now gained Reprisal Plus. Well, sort of. We have now gained the ability to buy Reprisal Plus. So, on us here, we are now going to go to Veronica, and we are going to buy Reprisal Plus, which costs 6,000 SP. It's actually insane. <laughs> It's so expensive, probably because it's pretty much one of the best abilities that you can get in the game. So, we'll, we'll have that one. There we go. So, now we're at 3999 SP. Right, so, we've got that. Next up for us, we actually need to level a second emblem. Because now we have Reprisal Plus, we don't need Veronica anymore. So we need another emblem for us to use. That emblem is Roy. There's a reason it's Roy, and it's twofold. First of all, Roy gives you holdout. 
Now, holdout means that you will always survive at 1 HP. Holdout plus 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 means that if you had 2, H or, uh, two HP or more at the start of combat, you always survive with 1 HP. This means that you can always survive the attack from the boss because the boss will only ever attack you once if you're doing this correctly. So, this will make you pretty much invincible. There is also a strat, I think I mentioned this in the previous episode, but it was a while ago. Uh, there is also a strat where you give Micaiah to um, Boucheron here, and Boucheron has the lowest magic stat in the game. So you basically can use that to push your HP above um, one again, but by the smallest possible amount, and then you get another holdout that you can use for another attack. And basically this is the strategy, you just spam attacks, but they, um, but holdout keeps you alive, and reprisal gives you insane amounts of strength. So, that's basically the plan. There's also another thing we need from Roy, and that is Sword Power 5, because Sword Power 5 gives you 10 attack, which is also very, very useful when you're trying to get through a boss with um, the effects that the Fel Zenalog boss has. So, that's the plan. To do this, we have to level up Roy. So, let's level up Roy. Let's have a good match. I am Roy, son of Eliwood, Marquess of Ferre. Prepare for battle. His uh, speech is so long that he didn't even get to finish it before uh, the fight started. You've improved a great deal. You've got the makings of a very promising warrior. You know, I never truly felt that way until I heard it from you. Cool. Okay. So we get a bunch of stuff here, which is kind of useful. None of which we really need to worry about. And now, we're going to level up Roy again, all the way to level 15. And you're going to be very surprised what I'll we're going to do opponent. after this. We're going to level up Roy again. I am Roy. I'm looking forward to this. It's crazy. Yeah. How I won. Right. So that gets us up here. And that's fine. Right. The next thing that we need to do is we need to level up Roy a little bit more to get hold out. Hold out plus 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 will then make us um let's have a good match. once again I am uh, Roy, immune to son damage of Eliwood, Marquess of Ferre. prepare for battle cool I'm how I won we have once again got to the final point that we need here and that now gives us access to sword power 5 now we don't need to buy holdout because holdout is on um is on the character but you do need to buy Sword Power 5 because you don't get that by default. So, uh, let's go into Inherit Skills and see how far we can get. So, that's with Roy. Yeah, so this is the bit that we needed a little bit more SP for. So, we needed 1001 in order to get Sword Power 5. So, let's grab Sword Power 3, I guess, while we're here. And then, yeah need another 1001 SP and then get Sword Power 5 which then gives us everything that we need. So, that's what we're looking for. I guess we could also level it to max because it will, in theory, give us extra stats when we have them equipped but we'll, we'll see where we're at here. Right. The next one is Tamara. So, Tamara is a character we didn't really use but you use Tamara in order to inflict Racket of Solm upon the enemy. That then lowers their crit by 5, which is actually quite useful when you're trying to use this because the enemy critting is very annoying and the crit chance that the enemy has is very low. So, that's why we want Racket of Solm. Now, the other thing we want of Temera um, is we want... Let me just find it here. We want Temera to have... Uh, where are we? I've lost the character. We want Tamara to have a um, Corrin on, and then to have a Draconic uh, Hex here. So we need level 8 here. 
We actually don't need anything else, we just need level 8. And that's because Tamara's job in combat will be to walk up to the enemy, hit them once, which will apply Racket of Soul and Draconic Hex. And that's it. That's, that's literally all we're using Tamara for. And uh, we don't even need uh, the SP, I think. And given that Draconic Hex, I believe, doesn't stack, all we need to do is level you up to level 8. So, let's do that. Let's hear a little bit about Tamara. Tamara here, the Crown Princess of Solm. My name is Corin. Ready to fight. Oh no, Corin. Don't do this. Fair and square. Loss. Corin, I just want to thank you. I feel so lucky that my country was entrusted with your ring. I feel lucky as well, Tamara. After all, it was you who came to get me. Now, let's win this war. Okay. So, Bond goes up to uh, five here. And then, we want to level up just a little bit more to get Draconic Hex. So, in here... And I believe we don't need to use SP to get it, but maybe I'm wrong. If we do need to use SP to get it, we also have the SP, so we can do that anyway. Let's have some fun, shall we? I am Corin. I'm looking forward to this. And we're destroyed. That's fine. Okay, that then gets us to level 8. So now we have Draconic Hex. Right, uh, I can actually check whether I need dra dra Draconic Hex thing. Uh, menu, Inventory, Zelkov. Zelkov doesn't have Draconic Hex, therefore you would have the Draconic Hex ability. That's fine. We are gonna be... Uh, but I might as well not change the emblem rings around because I'm gonna need to do some more missions after this. I was gonna say we're, we're gonna be Roy, then we're gonna have Corrin be on Tamara. Next up, Seedol is... Fine. We only need him for his ability to use dance. Uh, we need Chrom on anybody. We have Chrom on anybody. We have Chrom on uh, on Merin. That's who we have Chrom on. And you need Chrom there for the buff because Chrom gives you another plus seven to your stats. Seedol obviously also gives you a bonus to stats with special dance. Then we need Diamond. I'm just going to double check that he can do this as default. Uh, and then we won't need to worry about it. Diamant is going to be the person who we give Byleth to. And the reason we're going to do that, yeah, so we have it as default, is that it gives you, one, the ability to instruct for strength, but two, it gives you a goddess dance, which gives plus four strength. Having a goddess dance that gives plus four strength is really good, because you're buffing the strength stat, which then buffs the attack stat, which then means that your attack is even higher, and you see where that's going. Uh, I'm just double checking the other bits. We have Nell with Veronica. Goddess Dance is there. Ushron is going to use Micaiah, but I think all we need to do is have him with a staff on, and that'll be fine. Uh, in which case, the only other thing that I've got written down is that Seedol needs to have Canter. And I just want to check that this is an ability that he can have by default if we equip him with Sigurd. Yes. So he will have Canter if we do this. Sigurd. So let me just check. There we go. And the reason why we want him to have can uh, Canter is so that we can move him into position after he does a dance, right? Uh, which is fine. Uh, Veronica obviously gives you another turn as well, and basically the way that we're going to do this is we're going to spam extra turns. We're going to get, we're going to go. You get an extra turn because of uh, Veronica. You get an extra turn because of Goddess Dance. You get an extra turn because of Seedol. Having used uh, Seedol of or um, Veronica, you then Goddess Dance them, which then gives you even more turns. You use Chrom to give you the buff. You use um, all this other stuff. Oh, the other one is that you needed either. Um, Ivy or Hortensia to use Anima Focus on the boss, which is fine because we already have Hortensia with the ability to use Anima Focus. There's a potential chance that we need to use um, 
that we need to use uh, Ivy for this. Potentially we may have to actually inflict damage, which I'm not sure if Hortensia can do, but we will find that out when we do it for real. But we should have pretty much everything we need, minus 1001 SP, which is at most, I guess it said it's 300 to 500 and 1000 at max, so I guess at most is four missions if we get 300 SP a mission. Which we probably won't. We'll probably get at least one 500, if not a 1,000. If we can get an 1,000 and a 300, which is, I think, a drop which is possible, not necessarily likely, then we could, it may only be one mission. But we'll see. Anyway, that is that done. Which is quite a lot of leveling up. And it makes my life quite a lot easier because now I know kind of what we're doing. Uh, and we can uh, start to actually... Well, I can start to actually run simulations of this um, off camera and work out whether it's actually going to work. Which, right now, it's all theoretical. Theoretical is fantastic. Theoretically, it'll be great. But, I have no idea if it's going to work in practice. So, let's head up here and do something that we haven't done for a while. We're going to do a sleep. Just in order to trigger a wake-up event. And this room will also be a fine room to do the supports in, I think. Right, over here. We actually do have enough, um, yeah, we have enough bond fragments in theory to get those remaining level ups if we want them as well. Uh, I'll think about it. I, I basically want to keep some as backup in case we need some. Um, we may need to do a cleanup episode at the end. We'll see. Anyway, uh, bed. Let's go to sleep. At least change the time of day. Wonderful. Sounds like someone's coming in. The most popular person in the world is here to wake you. Gold Mary? Well, maybe second most. You're obviously more popular than I am, but that's all right. I'll take Illusia. And you can have the rest of the world. It was Gold Mary. Good morning. I wanted to thank you again for telling me you found me charming. My confidence is back now. And it's all because of you. That must be our A rank with her? I'm assuming? Okay. Let's see. Oh, wake up to 15B uh, rank supports. Well, I guess that must have been our B rank with her, I would guess, having thought about it. No, that was our A rank. That was definitely our A rank. That was A2. Okay. I don't know why it said wake up to that many B ranks. Maybe A ranks count towards the B rank thing as well. It's just like B or above. Yeah, possibly. Anyway, uh, that aside, I think it is time to do some supports, of which we have many. Where are we going to start? Um, well, we could start on Chloe and do all of Chloe's, but what I think would be better is to do individuals up here and hope that we have some that aren't Chloe, just to give us a break, but we'll see. Well, we start with Zelkov and Louis. They're A rank support. Let's go. Where are you going, Zelkov? Regrettably, I cannot stay for tea this time. There is work to be done. That's a shame. In that case, are there any chores I might take care of for you? I could have your place tidied by the time you finish your work. As I've told you, Louis, I have no desire to be cared for. <laughs> You'll have to forgive me. I can't help but feel the need to look after you. I credit this instinct to your strong resemblance to my brothers. I had a younger brother, long ago. Not only a brother, in fact, a family. They were killed. Oh. My condolences. I am uncertain exactly why, but... Drinking tea with you reminds me of them. It is painful to remember that what is lost can never be regained. But the tea... The tea is lovely. Ah, Zelkov. 
<laughs> How foolish of me. Please forget what I've said. I will not, I think. I shall await your return with a freshly brewed pot of tea. Hopefully that will entice you to return. <laughs> you are a strange one. But if you insist on waiting around for me, then the least I can do is enjoy the tea. I'll hold you to that. Now then, off you go. Farewell. That was cool. A little look behind the veil of Zelkov's dark exterior. Right. Louie. Chloe. Take a look at that, Louie. Isn't it lovely how that couple shares a meal together? The girl hand feeds the boy, and then the boy returns the gesture. So intimate, like a prince and princess from my fairy tales. It's quite a sight. One imagines the sort of lives they lead, how they met, and so forth. It's an interesting change of pace to observe your favorite scenes now and then. <sighs> Uh-oh. For someone who just said it's interesting, you don't sound so invested. I'm sorry. There is something I feel is lacking after all, it seems. <laughs> and what would that be? I'm not certain, but I suspect what's missing is you. Me? How so? Everyone adores you, Chloe. You're perpetually surrounded by friends. The closeness you show with those friends there's nothing quite like it. The sight of it fills me with such joy that I would hold it in my mind forever if I could. The drawback, it seems, is that scenes without you in them lose their luster. I can tell you mean that as a compliment, so thanks, Louie. But I'd be careful who I said that to. I know where you're coming from with that hobby of yours, but other people... It takes a lot of explanation before people will understand. Not all of them have the patience. <laughs> I'll bear that in mind. We should probably get going. That couple we stared at is starting to stare back. Yes, perhaps it's time for us to withdraw. Shall we see what else we can see? I did like the very uh, polite... You know, I get where you're coming from. I'm okay with it, but other people will find it weird, and you shouldn't do that. But that's okay. I was just seeing how many other ones we had with uh, Louis. So we have a couple that we haven't even started, and then just a couple of A ranks. Okay, cool. We now have Mavier and Amber. Okay, interesting. <laughs> hey, Mavier. On guard duty again today? Want some company? And how is your pulled muscle treating you? <laughs> That was no big deal. <laughs> I healed up in no time. I see. That's g <clears throat> good. Mavier? Do not worry. I am fine. That didn't sound like fine. Sit down. I'll go grab some water. How's that? Better? Yes, thanks to you. I suppose I was a little tired after all. <laughs> I knew it! <sighs> I'm honestly relieved to hear you admit it. Hmm? That means you're human after all. I had my doubts. Stop pushing yourself so hard, okay? <laughs> I surrender to your concerns. Yeah, you do. Here, drink some of this. It's a legendary secret potion that relieves fatigue. Really? Hmm. The smell is worrisome. Worrisome? What? This is no secret potion to help with fatigue. It is a laxative. <laughs> huh? No way. Where did you come by that bottle? I nearly took a drink. Yeah, close call. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> what is wrong? I may have, um, taste tested it earlier. Oh no. Hmm? Ah! Oh no! It's working! I can feel it working! <laughs> so, once again, it is you who needs to take a break while I continue guard duty. Go and rest. I will return to my watch. 
please, don't tell Jade. I had far too much confidence in Amber. I was like, oh, Amber is trying to slip Mavier Mo some kind of flax to for a reason. Not at all. Not one bit. All right, well, how about Vander speaks with Mavier? Back on guard duty today, I see. Every story result uh, revolves around guard duty. I feel more at ease when I work. Of course, I apologize that my patrol may make your continued surveillance more challenging. Indeed. You are making my life quite difficult. My apologies. <laughs> I was joking. Goodness, now. I'm just doing my job, watching you do yours. You do as you like. I'm not about to be prescriptive with how you handle your duties. Savander, what are your thoughts considering my past actions? Well, which particular action concerns you? I am sorry about Queen Lumera. I am especially sorry it took me so long to speak these words. What matters is that we are allies. I have no intention of dwelling on the past. Were Queen Lumera here, she'd accept you, Sir Mavier. Therefore, I'll do so in her stead. You do not hate me for what I have done? Why would I do that? To what end? <sighs> no point in going on with that attitude. I've watched you long enough now to know that you're a good person at heart. Keep in mind, your life will bring you plenty of opportunities to set things right. Sir Vander, I appreciate your concern for me, and also your advice. Uh, that, that was neat. Okay. Yeah. Um, it, it's good to see Ma Mavir uh, and Vander. Yeah. I, I, I don't know what to say about that one, but it was good. Alright, now we're on to a weird one. Jean and Chloe. <sighs> Jean, you seem pale. Or maybe it's a heartfelt one. I've just been thinking. About what? I'm scared of losing people, Chloe. Oh no, it's a sad one. Every day on the battlefield, people get hurt. Some even die. I've seen things that I could never have imagined back in my peaceful hometown. Doesn't any of this scare you? Of course it does. And I'm sure we're not the only ones. But there are things we have to do, even if it means facing our fears to do them. That's the thought that drives us all to fight, day after day. It's what drives me, at least. Things we have to do even if it's scary, huh? I'm sure you have some, too. I've seen you stand out on the battlefield without running from injury or death. I suppose so. Thank you, Chloe. It probably won't ever get less scary, but that doesn't mean I'll run. Not when I've got a steadfast friend like you. Steadfast. I like the sound of that. Besides, you have an iron stomach, right? People like that are hard to kill. Although, if your stomach does hurt after eating something strange, see me straight away. <laughs> I'm touched by your concern. I mean it, okay? Seriously. I won't go dying on you, Jean. Not so long as you're watching out for me. Well, that could really mess him up if you do end up dying, though. But, you know, hopefully you don't. Well, we already know that she doesn't in the main story. Ah, Kagetsu and Marin. Was there some dueling involved in their last ones? I'm guessing memories of them dueling. Or about to duel. Oh! Try this! Well, there's definitely some dueling. Ha! Not good enough, Kagetsu! Ha! Ha! And that's that. I win. I... Lost? You did. Though you are just as skilled as I am. In fact, you might even be stronger than me. But I've sworn to protect my princess, and the power of my conviction will not be overcome. Conviction, you say? I won, Kagetsu. 
You will not challenge Princess Tamara. You understand? Yes. It will be as we agreed. But perhaps you would consider rematching me yourself? You want to fight me again? Do you mean as a substitute for my princess? No, that is not what I mean. I have become interested in your power of conviction. It clearly gives you great strength. Studying this will teach me much about your culture and the world, I feel. Ah, in that case, yes. I'd be happy to spar with you as much as you like. In fact, sparring with you will make excellent training for me as well. Marvelous. Then let us consider each other training partners from today. I am certain this will lead to deep and meaningful bonds of friendship. <laughs> I'd like that very much, Kagetsu. Okay, cool. A resolution to a story from a while ago. We now have Hortensia and Chloe. We're going to see Chloe a lot. She had a lot of supports to do. So, maternal sophistication is all about gently embracing everyone. Drawing them to you. I get how it works, but actually pulling it off is something else entirely. I've just got to keep observing you. I'll learn all your tricks eventually. Whatever I can do to help. I hope it works. Oh, but wait. Before we get started, let me wipe your face. Ugh, did I have something on me? You did, but I took care of it. Now that cute face of yours is even cuter. <laughs> Thanks, Chloe. Wait. <gasps> That was it! That was it just now! I just naturally trusted you and let you wipe my face without even thinking about it. Having you dote on me felt... I don't know... peaceful. Aw, did it? That's so sweet. <laughs> Unbelievable. I can't let my guard down around you at all. Anyway, let's get moving. I need to see more of this in action. Be sure to drink some water first. Huh? Why? On a warm day like today, it's important to drink when you can. Oh, sure. Glug, glug. <sighs> can we hear that again? Glug, glug. What a weird voice line to have, but okay. Wait a second. I fell for it again. Your motherly charm is kind of terrifying, Chloe. Well, we'll leave them to glug glug another time. It's time for Marin and Chloe. <laughs> well, well. I landed that finishing blow beautifully, if I do say so myself. Still, more practice is in order. Perfection is the only option on the battlefield. Are you okay? Chloe, how long have you been watching me? Quite a while now. I would have said something sooner, but I didn't want to interrupt your training. Oh, I wish you hadn't seen me looking so... so uncool. Knights never make such sloppy mistakes in fairy tales. I'm sure you're disenchanted now. Oh, it's okay, Marin. Uh-oh, you scraped your forehead. Let's get that taken care of. I feel so pathetic. It was just one silly mistake. Don't beat yourself up over it. When I think about you, I think about how hard you work, not about how you messed up once. You're still a gallant knight from a fairy tale in my eyes. Chloe, thank you. Besides, I said I'd take care of you, didn't I? <laughs> you did. Though, this isn't quite the same as an upset stomach. But perhaps messing up isn't so bad. Especially if someone like you ends up taking care of me. So we basically have Chloe going around just boosting everybody's um, self-esteem and confidence. Good job, Chloe. Let's see what you do for Seedal on the sea support. Spirit of the cards. 
Cast your divine light so that I may see the correct path forward. Seedal, I heard you shouting. What's going on? Oh, Chloe. I'm in the middle of a very important reading. You yell when you're reading? Look at this. Right here, before me. Meat sizzling on the fire, dripping and juicy. Oh, how tempting. But my dancing will be less than disciplined if I let my passion for savory flavors rule me. My body is my instrument. I must be vigilant. So, here I sit, consulting the cards. Oh, is this going to be about Chloe's weird fruit thing? <laughs> Sounds like fun. Well, what did the cards tell you? As much as it pains me to say, it appears I'm not destined to eat this meat. More from me, then. Oh. Mm. Mm. Moon and stars. I thought you'd protest at least a little bit. Oh, well, go ahead. Though must you enjoy it so much? Thanks for the meal, Seedal. Next time, it'll be my treat. Uh-huh, uh-huh, I thought so. So the C support sets up, you know, the, f the food. And B support is going to be, I brought you this crazy food that I found. If you say so. Sounds delicious. Okay, cool. Next up, we have Panette and Amber. Someone else. Okay. We made it! We've arrived at the mansion! Uh, I'm trembling. My heart is pounding. I've got goosebumps! Hmm, nary a ghost in sight. Let us keep going and explore further. Whoa, whoa, slow down. You don't want to rush this. The ghost could be hiding anywhere. Oh, really? Like where? <laughs> Why, the ghost could even be right here! Hmm? Are you certain? I see nothing. <laughs> uh... Oh, never mind. I was just trying to play a little trick on you, Panette. But you didn't even flinch. You must have nerves of pure steel. Anyway, maybe this place isn't haunted after all. Hmm? I'm happy the mansion part of the rumor held up. But a wandering ghost, I just don't see it. It is here. Ah, Panette, that's the spirit. Normally I'd be holding out hope too, but... No, Amber, it is here. Oh, I get you. I guess every house does have its own ghost in a poetic way. That's really... That is not what I meant. It is here, as in there. Look. Do what now? Whoa. Whoa. Whoa! And that was the last anyone ever saw of Amber. Next up, we have Saline and Chloe. <laughs> my goodness, is my face so funny that you'd laugh as soon as you see it? Forgive me, Chloe, though I wasn't laughing at you. Rather, it was the memory of the first time we met that has me so amused. Oh yes, how could I forget? My first encounter with the princess. You were at the harbor with your face scrunched up in tears. It was adorable. I wouldn't say I was in tears. The ship I meant to board couldn't set sail and I was grasping at straws. That's all. Which is when I made my entrance. I told you if there was some place you wanted to go, I could give you a ride on my Pegasus. And off we went to the tea farm. I'd snuck out of the castle incognito before, but this was something altogether different. I'd never ridden a Pegasus. I can remember my excitement like it was yesterday. The first of many grand adventures. That day is burned into my memory forever. When they told me you were the princess, I nearly keeled over with shock. I mean, how many people make friends with a girl who turns out to be royalty? It's like something out of a fairy tale, Chloe. <laughs> I'm sorry. I hope it wasn't too hard on your nerves. Oh, it was an honor. Like I was living a real fairy tale. You might say I started a new life that day. Indeed. You must elaborate. 
Oh, I'd be happy to. But not today. No? I have the time, if that's your concern. <laughs> oh, Princess Celine, the best fairy tales leave the audience wanting more. Okay, so I believe we just have one left. It's Citrine and Chloe. Let's go. Hello again, Chloe. Is that folk food you're eating? Yep, this boiled frog is super good. You should try some. Ah, no thank you. I just had a rather large lunch. Ugh. Chloe, you came from money, didn't you? Yeah, my parents are nobles anyway. We have that in common. I am a noble as well. Related to the royal family, in fact. I have never wanted for anything. And yet... Hmm? Tell me, how did you become a retainer? Well, I took the knighthood exam, and then I passed, and then I got this job. Wonderful. That means you possess the skills required of a retainer. I don't know how it works where you're from, but you're a retainer for a royal family too. I became a retainer not by virtue alone, but due to my family connections. And that feels wrong to you? If it were only a matter of wounded pride, I would not feel troubled. But my physical weakness could be a liability for His Highness, so I can't help but dwell on it. I see. Forgive me, but I must be going. I have somewhere to be once again. All right. It was nice chatting with you. See you around, Citrine. Hmm. Okay. Bit of an odd one for the insecurities of Citrine there. Um, but also with a boiled frog involved. Interesting. Uh, I was about to leave the room and then I'm like, what else do we actually need to do? I don't believe that there's anything that needs to be done, actually. I think we're mostly good. Let me double check that we've done all of the reference ones. So have we done all the bonds? Yeah. Okay then. I think that is the end of this uh, episode. I'll pro this is probably bonus episode two, if I had to guess what this is going to be. And next episode is probably going to be the Fels Analog. My plan is to get us the remaining SP that's needed, which is 1001. Then I'm going to off camera try running through the plan to defeat the boss and basically get it to the point where I have it nailed down. Um, and then we're going to do the final Fells Analog one and figure out what's going on. Um, I don't know if we're going to grind out every support in the game. There are quite a lot of supports. I was initially thinking I might do it, but then I was like, just working on Vander, we barely got through it. Like, we're not even touching Chloe. It, like, there's huge amounts of supports left, so I think we might draw a line somewhere. But we'll see where things end up after the Fell Zen log. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I do appreciate your patience while we've been uh, getting it all up to where we need to be. So... Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.